Today we're going to talk about how we pack our hot air balloon envelope and get it ready to travel. Recently we would travel to Longview, Texas to the hot air balloon station called Balloon Repairs of East Texas. During that time we had an opportunity to see how they loaded their equipment and getting it ready to travel. What they use is a chain fall or come along. Um, they go ahead and they winch up the balloon, they lift it up uh, with an electric winch and they set it back down inside the basket. I took a little bit of video of this and I thought I would share it with you. One way to go ahead about loading and unloading your balloon is by using a chain fall. And we got to witness uh, Balloon Repairs of East Texas do just that. Um, they use an electric winch um, to go ahead and load their equipment. I've been doing the same thing for years um, with just a mechanical one and it works just fine. You can buy these things at uh, local hardware stores and home improvement stores and things like that. But I got mine at Harbor Freight. Um, I believe, I don't really remember the exact cost, but I think it was just a little over $50. Um, so you can get into it relatively uh, cheap and you can load and unload your equipment all by yourself by using a chain fall. The only big thing you need is to have a big heavy beam or something solid that will support you know, up to 1,000 or 2,000 pounds um, to give you some safety uh, margin. But uh, typically you're only lifting about 250 pounds when you're lifting a hot air balloon envelope. So you can load it and unload it in your truck by using this chain fall. What's really nice about storing the balloon envelope inside the basket is you don't have to build a crate. You already have the basket. You put the envelope inside and then you can move it around or travel with it or even put it on a shipping pallet and ship it off to a, to a different destination. Many of the crews use uh, a Tommy lift. They can be a little bit expensive, uh, running anywhere from about $1,500 to $2,500 uh, and mount one of these uh, hydraulic lifts on the back of your van or the back of your truck. And that really will save your back to be able to lift it up and down. But easily four people can lift up a fully loaded hot air balloon basket and set it in the back of the truck. And many of the people transport their hot air balloons by carrying them in the back of a pickup truck or a little open utility trailer. A closed utility trailer works awful nice for travel and getting back and forth from your home out to the balloon launch site um, and then that way when you're all done it's all stored and protected from the elements. Well I found this trip to Longview, Texas a very fun, exciting and interesting trip. Um, not only did we learn a lot um, but we were able to accomplish a lot. Um, the guys at this balloon repair station have many talents and one of them was that we were able to um, do some modifications to my burner frame, not the burner, but the burner frame itself um, for my experimental home-built balloon. Now, an experimental home-built balloon is not a balloon that you would use for commercial paid rides. Um, it's a balloon that you would just use for sport and fun and pleasure. So um, with that, I had made this particular balloon basket myself a couple of years ago, and the burner frame was a standard burner frame off of a stock hot air balloon made from a commercial manufacturer. And the size of the burner frame was just a little bit large for the size of the basket that I had. So I had to make some modifications to it and I asked Balloon Repairs of East Texas to go ahead and make those modifications. And what they were is, instead of it being a large rectangle frame, uh, I wanted to make it more of a square frame. So we were able to disassemble the burner from the frame and then we made some cuts into the stainless steel tubing, inserted some stainless rods, and then they welded it all up. And they did a beautiful job. The unique thing that uh, I found very interesting was this electroplate polishing. It's uh, kind of like a battery charger that um, you pass across the stainless steel with some fusaric acid. Uh, and with this acid um, and this electrical charge, it takes away any of the bluing caused by the welding. Well, 
bottom line is I was extremely uh, pleased with the quality of work. The, the burner uh, looks just like it did the day out of the factory except for it, it's a different uh, design because it's my design. But it was nice to be able to take it there, have them work on it, have it fixed, and then bring it home that, that same weekend. So uh, I want to thank them over at Balloon Repairs of East Texas for their expertise and all their help. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please uh, subscribe if you can and that way you'll be automatically notified when the next video comes out and I hope you watch the next. This is Ted Gothier with flyballoons.net.